The Dust Bowl of the 1930s was one of the most horrific natural disasters of the 20th century. Years of poor farming practices combined with a decade-long drought to create an ecological nightmare across the Great Plains of the United States. Windstorms blew away the topsoil, leaving the land barren and unable to be farmed. People and livestock lost their lives in the choking dust clouds. Analyzing the devastation from an airplane flying above, oil man Lloyd Noble recognized that if his home state of Oklahoma were to recover from this economic and ecological disaster, farming and ranching practices were going to need to change. His solution came with a simple call to action, take care of the soil. In 1896, Lloyd Noble was born in Indian Territory, which would later become part of Oklahoma. The same year Lloyd was born, his father Samuel and uncle Edward founded a hardware store in present-day Ardmore, Oklahoma. At that time, Ardmore was one of the largest cotton ginning centers in the United States. This meant many of Sam and Ed's customers were farmers. Young Lloyd, who often worked as a stock boy, took note of the work ethic and moral compass of the farmers and ranchers who frequented the family hardware store. Then, in 1913, when Lloyd was 17 years old, oil was discovered in Healton, Oklahoma, a small town about 20 miles west of Ardmore. The Healton oil field quickly became one of the largest oil discoveries in the continental United States. Having inherited his family's entrepreneurial spirit, 24-year-old Lloyd convinced his mother to co-sign a loan for $15,000 in 1921 so he could buy his first drilling rig. Through a combination of good fortune and ability to form highly organized crews and a willingness to embrace new technology, Lloyd went from a single drilling rig to having rigs across the U.S. and into Canada within 15 years. While Lloyd's oil business was booming into the 1930s, his fellow Oklahomans who farmed and ranched were suffering. Generation after generation had overplowed the prairie without realizing the long-term effects. When a once-in-a-lifetime drought hit the Great Plains, the Dust Bowl was born. Topsoil blew away, destroying 100 million acres of farmland, and with it, the livelihood that so many depended on. Lloyd, once a humble stock boy serving farmers and ranchers, now felt uniquely positioned to help these people and his home state. Lloyd famously wrote, the land must continue to provide for our food, clothing, and shelter long after the oil is gone. In 1945, Lloyd took a bold step toward a solution to the crisis he had observed. He took a million dollars in shares from his three companies and established the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation, named after his father, who he described as the most charitable individual he knew. The Noble Foundation began humbly with the Soils Group, scientists who tested soil for farmers and ranchers. This evolved into research and then consultation as more people asked the experts how to improve production on their farms and take care of the land. In 1950, only five short years after starting the Noble Foundation, Lloyd died. He left the majority of his estate to the Noble Foundation and enabled the organization to grow and adapt to meet the needs of each generation. In the decades that followed, the Noble Foundation made breakthrough scientific discoveries, provided grants to other nonprofits, and continued supporting the guardians of the land. In 2017, the Noble Board of Directors elected to separate the organization into two parts. The original organization became known as the Noble Research Institute, while its philanthropic activities, including grant-making and scholarship programs, continued in a new private foundation with the original name, the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation. Today, the Noble Research Institute focuses on four interconnected areas of activity. Research explores plant science in ways that expand understanding of how plants grow and interact with the world around them. Researchers look at the basic molecular and genetic levels of plants. They develop stronger forages, more tolerant of drought and resistant to diseases and pests. 
and they evaluate how well cattle perform in various grazing systems relevant to the Southern Great Plains. The Producer Relations Program provides consultation to help land managers apply research-based practices and reach their goals for the benefit of the land, their livelihoods, and all of society. Building relationships with farmers and ranchers keeps research and other programs in tune with real-life producer needs. Applied agricultural systems research and technology activities test out new ideas and innovations to see how they might help producers and the land. These studies take place on seven research and demonstration farms and ranches that span 14,000 acres in southern Oklahoma, where employees raise cattle, grow horticultural crops like pecans, and manage natural resources. Education programs invite students of all ages to learn about agriculture and science. Producers gain insight into the latest research and build knowledge they can take back to the farm through hands-on workshops and field days. Youth gain greater awareness and appreciation for agriculture and science's role in it through interactive tours and experiences. While decades have passed since Lloyd Noble first acted upon his desire to give back to the land and the people who depend on it, his organization continues to boldly deliver solutions to great agricultural challenges. Lloyd's charge to take care of the soil has ignited passion and a pursuit of excellence that has brought together hundreds of people from across the world and benefited countless lives. By looking to the future, as well as to present need, the Noble Research Institute continues to strive to advance agriculture and produce lasting benefits for all mankind.